before the ESL One Road to Rio, and now we're here at the We Play Clutch Island, where it's all culminating in this BO3 CT sided start for Spirit on Navi's map pick of Mirage. And some die young. He wants to make Navi do exactly that. He's pushing the top of middle. Him and I disbalance finding opening kills, and that sends Navi right back. They've got loads of utility, and they don't want to lose it. Are going to be looking to try and hold the line against the three player strong of Navi. They're pushing all together. There was a rotation that was drawn out from some Dai Young, but Magics from Shadow gonna land the one tap onto Electronic. Now turning his hand elsewhere. Ooh. Second frag comes in and a third. Spirit don't just win the first pistol, they take it in style. anyone out for intel on a scouting fact-finding mission they could be walking into this stack head first plenty of damage onto palace they feel obliged to push out and that's into magic's m4 some die young gonna be getting the burn frag boomich is also going down ever so quick to 12 hp and only have two smokes left that kill from boomich is huge it does give them a lifeline but that's been snapped away from spirit perfecto and simple both coming with frags simple with a second spins Ooh. across and there's another headshot narvi dig them out of a really difficult situation could provide a solution. There's the flash, and with 20 seconds, Navi are going to burst into the site. And the head of Simple is bursted from Magix's AK, and there's only 13 seconds left. They need entries, and they need them right now. And Flamey will deliver. Bomb going down, no CTs on CT spawn. It's going to allow Navi that safe passage to actually get a post plan. They still have a flashbang. Chopper out in the open gets sprayed into oblivion, leaving some die young 1v2. Two flashbangs, but no kit. He knows where one of the two players are on CT box, but it's all about the second. And now that he's dealt with Flamey, he can try and lock Perfecto out of this. Not enough time has elapsed for the overall bomb timer to really come in here from some die young, but Perfecto is betting on this being a fake, and that would be the wow. correct decision. Now some die young's picked up a kit. However, he's going to stick the bomb. Here comes Perfecto around the corner. Some die young gets the spray, but he's not going to have time for the defuse. Perfectly played from Navi in the end, and Spirit. Well, smoked, which Navi have been doing a lot of the time. Uh, that should be no problem. Boomage, he's up mid right now. Flamey's out on A. The bomb's been dropped, and Navi is still trying to push B at the same time. Boomage doesn't know there's a second player behind him. This bomb still under the control of Spirit. They got the orb posted on it. Perfecto is out behind the boxes, and Magic is going to let them drop. Simple's now in the sight. Things are getting dangerous. Oh, it's simple. Two tapping me down. News isn't that look. Smoke to push outside. Back onto the site. Still somehow alive with 12 HP. The M4 working against the CTs. And AK, he would have been a goner. As it stands, it's a 2v3 HP advantage. Actually in favor of the CTs, though. With Boomich and Simple exceptionally low. But now Magix has taken a ton of damage. He drops the 12. Flashes being put through onto the CT side. And Na'Vi trying to destroy any post-plant potential. Idis Balance going to peek in first. Ooh. And there's the spray from Perfect. Perfecto, and that is the door quite literally being slammed shut in the face of Spirit for the fifth time in a row. Na'Vi are victorious. Ramp Palace, every angle that Na'Vi could ask for is now being aggressed on, but some Dai Young holds the line. Perfecto dealing with the flanking chopper. Won't allow him any further Ooh. influence in this round. Big kill from Electronic, and with 35 seconds, now the bomb is starting to move into the site. I love how much Na'Vi are flashing these CT fights. They're doing it in every round. They're making it so uncomfortable for Spirit in their own bomb site. They just can't get welcomed in. Flamey sticks the plant. The shot won't connect from the CT player. And look at Perfecto. He's here. He's cutting them off. He's right behind them. Mir's got his knife out. Perfecto looking to slip one in the back of Spirit. There's two more players locked in the spawn. And boy, they're trapped. Perfecto doesn't need to move. He doesn't need to hunt. Because even though he's aware these players are in spawn, he's just waiting for the round to be won. So Na'Vi can move in from A and crash upon the Magics with a kill off this orb. Perfecto's going to move. He gets one. Doubles down four in the round. He's just kept it up. And this double wrap setup is ready. Boomage first in. First kill goes their way. They get a clean trade. Only electronic goes down. Now, Idis Balance, the third player perched on CT boxes with the AWP, is going to make his 
but they're going to bypass him. They're actually moving into jungle. They're going to end on oh. B. They're looking to wrap onto Kitchen, and Chopper is alive, and he's very aware of this possibility. The Idis Balance is going to cull Flamey before he can get into position. That leaves Perfecto in a really awkward spot. Now, do they realize two players have came through here? That kill could actually do more harm than good for Spirit. We are getting into grim territory here as well, Hugo. I mean, 9-2. Spirit, they've had chances. Oh, Boomich, he's dropped. He's made noise, but he does still get the drop on Sundar Young. And this is setting Navi up very well for an A split. There are two players still here. I just balance. He's been so passive in the spawn. He's finally pushed out. He wants to make a difference here in the A site. His teammate Ramp, and he's going to get popped by the flash. This bomb is on Rappus. Magix is looking at the Palace player. Those shots connect, but Simples will too. And the other orb is tagged as well. Problems here for Spirit is now it's only Chopper and Mia to stop the bomb plant. Nice kill. Perfecto gone, but Simples still sticking it on oh, boomage it's the long con it's the long oh. wrap and down goes mia chopper 1v2 27 hp to his name they would have heard him shoot out from the ct boxes previously he realizes it won't be happening chopper has to save navi will have 10 another round though this spirit could have won with spirit getting a little bit nervous or anxious coming against a team like navi but then the RMR point's not that much different. That being said, though, you ask for aggression up mid, you're going to get it. Chopper and Mia both chip in for kills. A good trade, and I like that they back away from short. Yeah. You've got the player advantage. Don't give that away. But if they were, I think those flashes are going to keep them interested for the time being. That's going to glue them down to A site. Magic oh. though, who has been so very good, just behind the top fragger with 14 kills, still on the site. Eight seconds to go. Going to be able to Molotov Magic's out. There's not enough time to pick up that bomb and get to the sites. They have to go for kills. And Flamey's not going to have a chance to do so. Is at least going to put down some serious economic damage. But finally, certainly could. Or he could just play for a bit of fact-finding mission for the rest of his teammates. Keep those ears clean. Plus, he's going to get aggressed on. There's the first one. Second player did already push into window. I don't think he realizes that Electronic is pushed up there. Once that smoke clears, it could be hit to his demise. But the bomb's still moving back towards the T side over on ramp. Now Chopper's going to show his hand in there as Electronic showing up when it counts for Na'Vi. Getting a second kill, but they are trailing by a player. A very important moment in this best of three potentially for Spirit. Four rounds could be enough to mount a comeback. Ooh, if Mir pushes off the back of that molly, that could open up B, and that's exactly what it's done. The damage to Electronic is not worth the risk, as now Na'Vi have an entrance to that site, but they're just going to flash and try and run around the corner. That's funny. It's not going to work. Dink, if anything, could entice Spirit into the site, but in fact, they've taken A. Chopper is out and about. Boomish didn't realize that these T's crept out the ramp, and now Spirit are crossing to this plant as well. Simple cross shots. This is where he waits, and he's going to find two for the connector. Smoke blooms. He pushes through. He's got an even better gap. They have crafted a cave for Simple, and he is going to be howling at the moon. Three, and almost a fourth. He gets it. Na'Vi take the pistol, despite that early damage. Plant or something of the sort. Ooh, don't want to give away the fact that the bomb's in Palace here. Magix has been spotted. I just balance is hiding, though. But yeah, Magix going and dying is, a, is actually a good call here. You want to at least try and draw Na'Vi away from this ace site, but yeah, they're not doing anything of the sort, Vince. They're pushing, they're poking, they're prodding, and they're winning. 13-4, to 4, clear. And you know there's more players there in B. So here comes the push of Spirit. Let's see how they do. Flashes are good, but so is the MP9 spray, and the Molly's doing so much work. It's coordinating the T's into a bit of a bottleneck, but they're actually doing pretty well. They're stepping up now to the plate. They're delivering Ooh. some big headshots. Titus Balance and Mia drill in with the AKs, leaving simple one on three. He's already pulled off one huge play. Now can he use it with the M4? There's the first. Still has all of his HP remaining. Two flashbangs. If there's one player you want in this situation, it's simple. The best player in the world for a reason, but his position is now compromised from Idis Balance. They know roughly where he is. They don't want to take two separate engagements Ooh. or he's going to punish them. And keep in mind, he has a kit. He doesn't have to rush into this. And they're simple. You beauty. Another 1v3 clutch to the books. Shutting down the clutch. One on three. The one rifle for Na'Vi as well. And they look to close this game out here. But Spirit have other ideas. They're not done just yet, Hugo. They want revenge. They're playing for their pride. Unlikely they make the comeback, but they want to make this one close. They want to make Na'Vi respect them. This is 14-4. Even though, you know, the scoreline may be closer, it's not going to matter. If Na'Vi just find two rounds, they're going to push it over the line.
What's going on as it happens? A flank is coming through and Spirit are pushing in. Simple getting a kill. Flamey will join him, but Simple's now the only man standing at the back of the bomb site. He's done this before. He can do it again. A one on three on his own. There's the first. The bomb is dropped. Chopper wrapping round gets his second and he's on 10 HP as well, opening up a chance to plant and Na'Vi will have to retake, but it's a fake and they are ready to fight. Chopper getting electronic, but do they expect the flank? Boomich is in the apartments. He places correctly. This round should be falling his way. The bomb's just been planted as well, so the lack of kits not really a problem. There's the first kill. Oh, he nearly bites off more than he can chew. And now the positioning of that final player of Chopper is a little bit tentative, but no kit. Chopper doesn't realize. Shoulder peeking. Now and again, just going to be coming through with that jiggle peek. Bit of damage inflicted to Boomich. Now comes off the bomb. He wants to try and draw away Chopper into the open, and Chopper is just taking the risk that the kit isn't coming in. Now Boomich is going to stick it. Now he's going to have to just hope for the best, and here comes Chopper, who gets spun around on, but there's not enough time. He's done enough just about. Yeah, he did excellently when it came to lurk plays on the T side, but how is he when he has to play a little bit more static and has to play the perfect positioning? He's seen a couple of players. Incendiary tossed out straight away with a HG behind a good flashbang. Encounter action and a big entry. Make that two. And this is where Na'Vi will have to save. They will have to pu pull the plug. And Spirit will be up to eight rounds. It was looking pretty much a done deal after that second pistol went the way of Na'Vi, but credit to Spirit showing resilience, showing tenacity and a bit of grit. Because it's a contact play for Spirit, they throw a very late flashbang, fully whiting him, and then he just gets overwhelmed by magic. So this is a huge moment in the round. If we can take down Ida's balance, not only will it allow the rest of the CTs a bit of the luxury of knowing it's likely to be an A hit as they see it traded out for an M4, but additionally, it just swells the pressure on the T's that little bit more. They now know they have to push into a site that's going to have multiple avenues of aggression through both jungle and CT. Additionally, there's a player perched up on short, which is Flamey watching with an AWP. So this is quickly getting into a very dangerous spot for the T's. Even trade back and forth. Chopper and Flamey exchange kills. Perfecto, who's been waiting and biding his time behind Triple Box, now going to show his hand. And in doing so, drops the bomb down. Eight seconds to go. The T's have got to get out. They've got to get up close and personal with these AKs. It's not going to be good enough. But Na'Vi going to have six map points. A man advantage. Boomish has taken the orb. He can stop cat players with this one. That can get very dangerous. That's the big problem. And he's already started off. There's Chopper Gun. Now Na'Vi can be ready for this B play. Flamey's found the counter orb. But Perfecto jumps apps. And there's not even a info on Electronics position. He'll only get damage. And that damage gets traded. Magic's with two. He can't close the round. It's Na'Vi to take their pick of Mirage. Excellent stuff. And what a start to this series. Have a bit of utility at their disposal. Chopper and Ida's balance. And uh, Ida's balance in particular is one of those players I need to step up because he had nowhere near enough impact on the first map. And already Ooh. they're out. And Ida's balance. There we go. He gets the first kill. Yeah, catching Boomish flying through the sky. I mean, whoever starts T-side of this map is coming off to a great advantage. That's where both these teams are, are going to be very comfortable here, especially considering it's Spirit's pick. Na'Vi chose CT, so let's see if that was worth its weight. Simple core to the car, and he's going to get cleaned up. So five on two, the grenade does a little damage, but at this point, Na'Vi surely no way back into this round. More flashbangs in the face. Perfecto blinded. Oh, he's gone as well. He's going to get picked up through the smoke, so goodbye, Na'Vi. Not today, not here. If Navi saved both of those grenades, they would have won the round. They would have killed the planter. But uh, yeah, nice, nice eco nonetheless, right? Damage done, and it's going to soften up the money of Spirit. But quite on the same page in Navi, maybe things to watch out for. But now it's Spirit feeling comfortable and confident to start making moves over on Catwalk. Good Molotov put down. Plenty of damage is going to be there. While Mia with his AK puts it down range onto electronic. Ooh. Goose is going to go unchecked, and that's going to be at the cost of two lives. We said Flamey was a player to watch out for, and this is why, but now he's alone and he's stuck on Goose, and he will be cooked alive. Plenty of CTs behind that, looking for a potential stack, a potential tower of CT to try and fend off the aggressors. Simple's going to get the one. Gets instantly traded by Chopper, who will execute. The player with ease, and now they're seeing more players around the boxes. The back box for Electronic, he's shown his hand maybe a little bit too early. Flamey with one with his beak, but again, not too much else that he could be hoping to achieve down there in Elevator. His position gets swarmed, and it's good trades back and forth. It's a 1v1. How has it came to this point? Boomich up against Chopper, who doesn't miss and picks up a 4k. 
who are trapped in positions, not just letting that CT repeat. They want to get them out. Simple. He started off with the orb. Quick kills. And that's what you like to see. Chopper pulls out a nade. And what? You expect Simple not to repeat? Well, that's on you. Flamey's found a third. And the double orb here for Na'Vi. That is the solution, at least in the short term. Can't actually because he's getting no bonus, rather. But yeah, they're fine. They can get rifles in the follow-up. Spirit still have the lead here. Here comes the long take. Boomage trying to fight back there. Simple's one flashbang. Boomage gets a kill. That's something at least. The longer he lives, the better it is here, at least for Na'Vi. A second player has come to rotate. Electronic flashing again. They're so white. And Boomage finds a double. That's great team play for Na'Vi. It could have been easy to just let, just let Boomage fight on his own, but they assist him. And now it's a five on one. This one has come crumbling down. And it's the AWP on long that hasn't found a kill. Boomage might give one away if he walks into the view, but he's going to jump in. Ha! Boomich chasing them down. He doesn't need the triple up. He's already got a, an AK at his feet. And they're going to try and halt this. They're hearing players burning as they push through. Now, this smoke does afford them a chance to get up on the boxes. Some damage inflicted. Ooh. Electronic is still alive, but not for too much longer. And it's not a bad take, all things considered. That was a two for one trade on this aggression. It's a two on two. They're able to smoke across on the doorway. And the Molotov behind it, 40 seconds at their disposal. They don't have to rush in for a plant. They can uh -oh. take their time. There's actually a whiff Molotov. That could afford Simple a chance to go in aggressively. Grenade is good. And some die young. Blitz down to 40 HP. An AWP and an M4 in the hands of Spirit. An AK and an AWP in the hands of Na'Vi. One of which is Simple. But he has been found in fire from Midas Balance. Wow. And there is Spirit. Beautiful B hit. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> What's he done that for? In round number 10, restored in game. 6 3 in favor of Spirit and Na'Vi. They're going to win that first long fight. Three players here going through the smokes. They will get traded, but Boomich's grenade does damage. And Magix is trapped by his teammate. Idis Balance didn't leave, and that gets Magix killed. He was trying to jump away. He was on four health, and Idis Balance has just sent his teammate to the uh, morgue. And it's going to be hard to see how. Team Spirit feasibly get anything done. He may get wide swung from Chopper, but now he spots him. And of course, Simple will not miss that chance, leaving Idis Balance all alone against the world. Oh dear, here comes Perfecto. Now, Scope Dorp should win this fight every time. So probably not an issue. And Idis Balance gets out with his gun and his life. Stay alive for me. I'd love to see that at the back of the pack. They're just going to run around the corner. They're going to chase Electronic on the site. How many can he get? Bomb drop. Player in spawn getting closer. Electronic stalling it with a smoke. I like the play, but it will give away the plant to Spirit. It does give them away the plant, but they want the round. They're okay sacrificing a little bit of money as long as they can get their hands on a fifth. Flamey now going to be nading and smoking, allowing them safe passage, at least partially through on towards the site. And now Perfecto with the AK. Stinging onto some die young. Op shot from Flamey, leaving Idis Balance. It is the safe weapon. And he has to wide swing this if he wants to try and stop it. Ooh. Good first pick. The bomb's planted for him as well. You know, this is doable. Ooh. This is very doable. Per the only last player left is Perfecto. And he's just watched the rest of his team get dismantled around him. Idis Balance is on for the ace as well, by the way. He misses oh. the shot. But there's not enough time. He's won the round. Oh, my. I thought that was done, Vince. Their chance, golden opportunity to get back into this half was squandered. Idis Balance having a huge round now, looking for more. Oh. That flick onto Boom, which is delightful. And Magix has got one. The aggression from Electronic oh. with the MP9. Are you kidding me? He's pushed the Molotov and through the fire and the flames. Navi have the player advantage. For the plant, Molly on the door. He's not going to go for it. He's waiting. He's being patient, letting his teammate wrap the lower tunnels. Is he going to flank mid? Perfecto's pushed through the molly. I love the heroic play. He does what Electronic got away with earlier. And now with a bomb dropped and wrap, wrapping back through the tunnels, it's mere 10 seconds, no time, no chance. And the orb is going to get saved by Simple. Perfecto in prime position. The pad then stats nicely. There's the flash here. The spray. Perfect. Only gets one, actually. And simple with the orb. Not Taylor May, but whips oh. out his deagle. And he's taking off heads left and right. Takes a couple of dinks. He's down to 19 HP. Now he can just stall for his teammates to arrive. Well done, simple. Close on the double doors. Can actually hear for information for his teammates. They decide to wrap back around again, which they're going to do. And so much damage to Magic's and Mir, but no kills. And even trade in middle. It's a 2v3, but now Flamey is oh. stuck. And he's isolated and he's all alone. The lone wolf is hungry. But Flamey is going to have to try and fend for himself. 25 seconds to go. He's not going to be able to deny the bomb plant. And it's unlikely he's going to be able to clutch this. But Hugo, it's the last round of the half. He's going for it. 
Yeah, he's got to. Uh, Boomish and Medman, I, I think he uh, wanted to get ahead of that cat play and flank fast, but yeah, they just popped down into his face. He wasn't ready for them to wrap back. They have left the premises. They want no part in this. They want B. They want to make B their home. And the T's now pushing through. Some die young, Ooh. and Mia is going to have to try and hold the line against all the T's rushing their way. And so far, so good. Flamey with the block, though, does count track with one and make that two. If he can get a triple, that's going to just be the round slipping away from Spirit. It's going to be Electronic that actually comes in for the next one, and he is currently on A. So the remaining two CTs feel compelled Ooh. to go aggressive, but that's into the embrace arms of the CTs. And now I just balance this all alone. USP in hand, Flaney, Electronic, and Simple to fend off against. He's taking so much damage. Comes out with a headshot onto Simple, but traded. And we're all even. Eight to eight. Oh, aggression. Electronic's gone straight out into middle. There's no flashes preceding it. Oh, That's no. madness. Oh, no, Mia. That should have been a kill. That could be the round. Yeah, B's lost. The bomb is late because Simple was watching mid for the info, but it doesn't matter. Spirit haven't reacted fast enough. They haven't stopped this. They weren't to know, but they are hugely favored, especially with Simple here as well. He's going to catch players coming in towards B. Oh, Magic's not looking at the right place. Simple going to get the kill, and that 100% falls the Spirit back. They want nothing to do with this. A save with two, and you lose another player. I mean, that's the difference between a, a full buy in the next round and nothing. And Simple, he wants them to have exactly that. Nothing. Just the orb left for Idis Ballas. He's trapped on car. He does get a kill, but that's just ringing the alarm bell. Simple will answer the call and go back towards the doors. Idis Ballas has the perfect angle, though, and will hold the line, hold his weapon, and keep the orb ticking through into the next round. This is uh, this is the next level, and maybe they're not up for the task, but Magic's... Oh, he is! Two in one bullet. He finds both up on the catwalk. A Kalat Deagle shot. Are you serious, man? That round could be over off the back of that. And Almir comes in with his Deag. Navi in shambles. Spirit loving this passage of play. And now it's up to Flamey to try and fend off the aggressors up middle. Needs to be careful. There is an AWP there. Simple sees the head and he rips it off of Magix. So they're not done just yet. Molly down onto CT side. Going to try and keep the CTs in position. But Mia gets a slow peeking Flamey. And Simple's already picked up a 1v3 today in the smoke. No one's shooting to give away their positions. And now Simple going to snake his way back out of there. Chopper shoulder peeking, trying to draw some fire for the rest of his teammates to get up close and personal. Some Dai Young will be the first player in and potentially the player to round this one off. And indeed he shall. Point blank range. He pulls the trigger. And once these nades start to wear thin, Spirit going to have their attention firmly towards Cat. And there's already nades dropped down. Speaking of dropping down, Electronics came out right already. A good flashbang put into play. There's one counteractive flash. And now Magix can maybe open up his account with the M4. He does just that. But Electronic has somehow snuck his way in towards the car. And it's going to be a post plan. This is such a chaotic round. Yeah, it is still winnable for Spirit, but that kill has just really caused problems. Chopper jumped on by Perfecto up on the catwalk, and well, it goes from a four on four to a two on four in a second. But uh, yeah, Navi, they don't want to lose this game due to the money in the last couple of rounds, right? So. One smoke draws out the incendiary, and now they can look to try and push behind that. Second incendiary tossed in. Here's a HE as well. Last time Electronic dropped into CT. They're going to be looking for that again here, Spirit. And meanwhile, Perfecto entering out on long. There's one keeping his balance interested. Oh, he knows the rest of the team wow. is pushing through, and Perfecto lightning up the round with three brisk entries, and that will be the round to follow, surely. Yeah, dude, this guy has been uh, lights out in this grand final. And what a performance from Perfecto. He was storming through Mirage. And right now in Dust, he is a must. 14 rounds for Na'Vi. Four kills in this one for Perfecto. He's not going to get the ace. It's Mir checking down T-Spawn. And by the time Perfecto swings, well, I just balance. I guess he's not convinced. He doesn't react in time. And Perfecto gets the kill. Upper dark pushing for spirit. Look at the look at the aggression. The orb has been caught. The rifle has to swing, and it's only good for one. Mir still hanging around. That's a big risk because if he dies, this B split will happen. Boomage dinked, and the Molly finishes it off, but he gets a kill before he perishes. Down to a three on three. Navi, they pull the brakes. They don't want to commit, and rightly so, with the smoke down. But right now, Navi doing everything in their power to deny it. Here's the B play. The orb at the back of the site. A missed flash could be costly. Simple going above the Molly. It's going to burn out Mir, and that's the site. That might just be the round. The only thing left for Spirit is this fast flank. 
It's a fast flank in six seconds to go. So Simple and Co taking their sweet time, but they're going to be able to get that bomb planted down. And Magic's vaporizes flamey, but Electronic is there to shut him out. And Ida's balance can do little but save. Luckily, the money is not. But yeah, this is uh, it's not the best situation to be in. Mir's going to have to drop guns unless he buys the orb. This is Spirit's pick, and Na'Vi are taking it dominantly. Incendiaries and flashes tossed out on Long Perfecto, still alive. Had so many big entries, and now it's up to Flamey to get one, but Chopper and Magic's instantly retort Ooh. before Flamey pillages another kill of Magic's. But another teammate goes down, so Spirit doing a good job of keeping themselves in the lead in terms of manpower. And although the economy did supply a buy in this round, and now this AWP has come to join them. I just balance posted. That smoke lets Na'Vi cross out of the tunnels. Oh dear, I just balance has grenades in his hand. There's the entry. Flamey with one. He can double down. But that smoke is cutting I just balance out. Mir's on the flank. 20 seconds. He just needs to drop the bomb, and he's done that as well. Can fall back. It's simple for the clutch for the tournament in the one on two. He's found the first. Mir in the smoke. 10 seconds. And Simple, he's going to do it on his own every single time. This guy will not stop. And Na'Vi, they are your WePlay Clutch Island champions.